For without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. He was talking to the legalist. He turned to the legalist and said to them, after all your legalistic types and shadows, without faith, faith in the finished work of Christ, all your shadows cannot please God. All your shadows. From coconut service to koboko service is physical exercise. It has no spiritual value. It cannot please God. What pleases God is faith in what Christ has done. We are not going to have faith. We have already believed. So he's talking to people that have not believed. When he says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace. He's not talking to the believer. The believer has already come. He's talking to Jews that have not come. Let us come. But we believers, we're already at the throne of grace. So Hebrews 4.16 is not for the believer. It's for the unbeliever. Let us draw nigh with our hearts. We have already drawn nigh. We're already in him. Our hearts have been sprinkled. He has perfected you already. So who was he talking to? To draw nigh. To come. He told you those people in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. It's the same people because all this drawn eye come is all in Hebrews. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. So he's telling them he that cometh must believe. To the church you have come to Zion. To the unbeliever if you come. To the church, you have come. Amen? God does not do temples. God does man. God doesn't do physical temples. God does man. Salvation makes you perfect. So Paul was talking to people whose conduct was unbelieving and unbecoming. Amen? I said amen. You know, legalistic people are the most unforgiving people. Because the law produces wrath. The law produces anger. The law produces maliciousness. They are always angry. Legalistic people are always angry. Their prayer is anger. Their praise worship is anger. Bello, 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 bello. And see what the Lord will do. Do something new in my life. Something new. They are always angry at something. Their prayer is fire, 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 fire. Fall and die, fall and die. Be roasted, be roasted. Who will eat? Who will eat? Because if you roast something, somebody must eat it. Legalistic people, they are always angry at something. The wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. They are always full of self-righteousness. Seeing visions of people missing rapture. Because of anger. They will now see vision. They say, I saw a vision. Rapture happened. All of us were left behind. Only pastor left. Why wouldn't all of you be left behind? In your head, you have been left behind. They are always seeing vision. How they were almost entering heaven. Then something drew them into hell. They are all, Because your visions are a reflection of your doctrine. Your subconscious experience is a function of your doctrine. What you have been taught, it was placed back in your subconscious. Most of your dreams and visions are a reflection of what you believe. Most of them, they are a reflection of what you believe. If you believe in victory, you will be dreaming victory all the time. You will see where they are coming to press you and they fell down and you are the one who sat on top of them. Because in your mind, what you are seeing is victory. You won't see where they flog you and flog you. You are trying to escape. They were flogging you till one of your hands was removed. Then you woke up sweating. It's a function of the teaching they gave you in that church where you were before you got here. Since you got here, we've been trying to remove it. That's what we've been trying to do here. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Huh? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Say, ah, I had a dream. It's like the devil is after me. I was just about to enter the room. They closed the door. Half of my body was caught. Only half enter. Half is outside. 
Pastor, please bring the other half inside. I have no gift of bringing half. <laughs> I have gift of bringing all. <laughs> I don't do Moses. So. I do Christ and his grace. We have come in Christ. Somebody shall we have come. Somebody shall we have come. We don't have a temple worship. We have a family worship. We don't have a temple worship. We have a family worship. I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. We lift our hands. Not to talk to God in a distance. When we say lift up holy hands. We are not talking to God in a distance. So why do we lift up holy hands? Is God in the sky? No. We lift up holy hands as a practice of the presence of God in us. Why do we sing? It is our practice of God's presence. Why do we worship? It is our practice of God's presence. Why do we pray? It is us practicing the presence that we carry. The worship doesn't bring the presence. We are already in the presence. We are worshiping from the presence. We are praying from the presence. We are singing from. We are not singing to. Kabato belita bata. We are there. So out of the out of the abundance of where we are, we bring forth a fountain of worship. Out of your belly shall flow. The rivers are already inside. They flow from. We don't fight for victory. We fight from victory. We don't try to become. We are. Say very loud. I am what I am. By the grace of God. Say it again. I am what I am. By the grace of God. We don't come. We don't come. We are there. In the spirit there is no distance. John 14, 16. Shouting scripture man. And I will pray the father. And he shall give you another comforter. Allos. Another of the same kind. That he may abide with you for some weeks. What does your bible say? Forever. Next verse now. Hey, Even the spirit of truth. He will abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you, Kabato Beleta, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be where? In you. Where is he right now? In you. He will not visit you, he will dwell in you. He will not visit you. He will, do, he will dwell in you. So the next time a man of God tells you, the Lord will visit you. Tell him, thank you sir. He lives in me. The man living in me does not visit me. I don't visit my house. Do I visit my house? Say, I'm going to visit my house this afternoon. No, I'm going home. My house is my home. You are God's home. He lives in you. And he will never leave. You didn't hear that. Right now, it doesn't matter how you feel in this service. The, the creator of a heaven and earth lives on your inside. Somebody tells you, you will see, smile. Nobody can threaten God. Just smile and say, you don't know who you're talking to. If you knew who I was, you won't say the things you said. But because you don't know, let's not bother about ignorant people. Knowledge does not bow to illiteracy. Light does not bow to darkness. Amen. I said amen. Somebody said I will deal with you. Deal with me. I don't understand that English. Because where I function from such grammar don't exist. Deal with what? Have you, do you understand? Nando angis kantole. Kame angas ane angale. Gamano kodia. We're dealing with the higher things here. You're talking, you're, you're talking. If I told you earthly things that you don't understand, how much more if I tell you heavenly things? Zabede gebada gaya. Monda lada boho gaya. Jeje kele de bosoke. Membronda ze kele. Mando lodo borokota. Bebe rede gebo hotoka. Mengo rodo ze kele de ma. Oh, jakala da mama. Somebody shout glory! Glory! 